In a word, refreshing. Hey guys, it's she from the F-Word here to review the BBC2 show Collateral, which is also on Netflix. Pizza delivery guy goes on a delivery, walks out the front door, gets shot. Not really an accident though, because there's a much bigger things at play here. And we have D.I. Kip Glasby and her partner Nathan Bilk on the case to figure out how far this rabbit hole goes. So, a lot of these shows tend to do one thing. And it seems to bog us down with a lot of gloominess and really heavy themes that weigh on the average person. It's really tough to watch all the time because it is a lot of negativity. This tells a story really about immigration. Uh, the Syrian war is kind of going on. This is post-Brexit. There is an influx of immigrants coming in and not a lot of people are happy about it. And that's something that's really happening all over the world and has been happening for a long time. But what the show does is it weaves this really good story that starts off with this shooting into those themes while not bogging us down with too much grief. And more importantly, it doesn't shove its own opinions down our throats. It shows us a lot of different opinions from a lot of different characters in different positions in the government, in the police, the army, in a way that isn't biased, which is really tough to do. I commend the show for just doing that. We also have a main character in Kip Glassby who isn't your typical detective that you see. A lot of times you see our character or our main character, specifically a detective, with a drinking problem, with drug abuse, with a troubled past and all that, but it's not the case. She's an ex-pole vaulter, she's gonna have a baby, and she's really good at her job. And that is another refreshing take on a lead character, not just a female lead character, but that's just a bonus that she's a female lead character because she's really awesome in it. She's written very intelligently, she's witty, she's funny, she knows how to play the game, she can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with anybody, whether it be higher-ups, her boss, whoever it is, she can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with them and the conversations are, again, really witty and smart. And yes, it has a lot to do with the writing, but more importantly, you can have all the writing in the world if you don't have a good actor portraying the character. And Carrie Mulligan, specifically, she's just great. She's great in this. And I'm going to highlight her the most. All the other characters are good, but she is really what's holding this whole thing together. She discovers that the pizza place is not just your regular pizza place. She notices things that are just in a very real way, in a way that a person would kind of notice is that is good at their job and is sure of herself in a very confident way and a very intelligent way, as I've mentioned, and she's just a good character overall. Those two things together are the strength of this show. A really good story, it's compact, but it, it's focused, and a great lead character, as well as some really good supporting characters. I'm going to be nitpicking for sure because I love this thing, and it's almost too short, to complain about. The only thing is, is because of its length, the first episode leading into a little bit of the second episode just had a lot of pieces to juggle, had a lot of pieces to put into place, but when they come into place, it's just really good. Everything's really well put together. It's really organic. You've got a lot of different aspects that really work well together. So the only thing is, when you're first watching it, you do have to pay attention, and yes, it does get a little bit complicated, but it ends up working itself out. The other thing is, there is a character in here. Her name is Jane. She's a priest, and she's also a lesbian, which is a really interesting dynamic. They didn't focus on her as much as I wanted to. I imagine they did that because that would detract from the overall story, introducing something else that takes away from the main plot of it. Which is totally cool, I just really wanted more of her because she was a very interesting character with a really good backstory. But I can understand why they didn't. Like I said, I'm nitpicking here. So Collateral, check this thing out. It's not a big investment, four episodes, an hour long, it fits a really good story with a lot of really important themes and delivers it in a really good way. It allows itself to be light when it can, it is heavy when it should, and we've got a great, great character in Kip Glassby, the, our lead character, the detective, and a really good story that starts from something like a shooting and just evolves into something a lot bigger. So definitely, definitely check this thing out. So that's my quick non-spoiler review of Collateral. Let me know in the comments below if you've had a chance to see it, because I would love to hear from you. You can find me on Twitter at the F-Words G. You can email us at the F-WordPodcast at gmail.com. Make sure you're following Entertain Facts. And until next time, I'm G, and I am out.